Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I don't really watch the news anymore, unless someone sends me a clip of it on YouTube. Really, that's it. Or I click on a link that I find from one of my followers on Twitter. Uh, you know, I, I snack on on news stories. Nom, 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 nom. You know, just to, just, just to get a taste of what's going on. You know, see the headlines, dive in deeper to the, the stories that I'm more interested in. Uh, I don't know how you digest your news, but a uh, suggestion would be to use a news aggregator, and maybe you've got your aggregator of choice sitting in front of you right now. I've got a suggestion to make, uh, not as a full-on replacement, potentially uh, something that could augment your ability to digest the news as it comes in through RSS feeds. Uh, I've got RSS feeds, of course, associated with my blog, Locker Gnome, my Twitter account, of course, geeks.perillo.com has got a handful of RSS feeds. RSS is everywhere, right? So this particular solution is cross-platform. It runs on Adobe Air, so it'll work with Linux, Mac OS X, or Windows. And it's something called Snacker. Snacker.net is where you can find more information about this particular utility. And before I zoom in to show you the utility, I just wanted to show you. S-N-A-C-K-R. There's no E at the end there. Snacker. Snacker. And what does it do? Well, it sits on any edge of your screen, the top, the bottom, or the sides, and does this. Wait for it. There we go. And it just uh, scrolls the latest headlines. You know, the images, if there's an association, the headline, how long ago it was published, and where it was published. Kind of neat, huh? And it, it comes with a, a default set of feeds. But if you want to, you can very easily go over to the configuration button and choose different blogs, you know, remove things. See, look, it even has the astronomy picture of the day as a default feed in there, which is kind of nice. Uh, then you can set preferences as well, including the ticker speed, uh, keeping Snacker in front of all the other windows, blah, 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 blah. That's the boring part. The exciting part is just watching the news as it scrolls by. It's that easy. Yeah, and you just drag and drop it to another part of the screen, and then it'll become a part of the screen. So let me zoom out and close that. I'm going to try to drag it to the side. There we go. Now I've got the uh, ticker running up the side. It's that easy. That way, and it's free. Right. Cross-platform, Adobe Air, free, easy, configurable. Add your own feeds. You know? What's not to like? Seriously, I, I don't know what's not to like. I'm looking for something not to like in this, and I like it. Snacker.net, that's where you can download your own. I mean, because you could, you could take mine, but that wouldn't do you a heck of a lot of good because it's mine. Snacker.net, that's S-N-A-C-K-R dot net, okay? Got that? The dot net part. Don't go to the dot com because I don't know what's there. In fact, I don't even want to know what's there. Don't tell me if you've looked. Let's just uh, zoom in over here and scroll out. Apple snags former Xbox exec. Oh, wow. Did I say that right? Xbox exec? It's kind of a tongue twister. 11 short films about a browser. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to get sucked into the uh, headlines here. So before I do, I'm just going to go ahead and close this video out and, and uh, you know, tell you, you know, how you can get a hold of me. Not just with news stories, but any really cool resource that I might care to share with the rest of the community. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you know you can find me floating about the web. Got my blog, chris.perillo.com. I'm on Twitter, twitter.com slash chrisperillo, youtube.com slash lockernome. Yeah, I have lockernome.com too. And chrisperillo.com, gosh, do the sites ever end? No, I, I can't stop registering domains. Never. I can't, I can't do it. I've got to register more domains. I'm, it's addictive. Maybe I'll be inspired by one of these news articles. Microsoft not ditching Vista until at least 2011? Oh, God. <clears throat> if you're a tech enthusiast, uh, you might be uh, open and willing to join us in our community, geeks.perillo.com. We've also got this chat room that's a part of the live video feed going out over the web. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, typically snacking on tech topics at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.